Hey everyone, this video is going to serve as an introduction to the template system in Bottle. So the template system in Bottle is very basic. It's basically just a combination of HTML and Python. So I already have this templates.py script set up, which is very basic. I'm just importing route, run, and template. Uh, route and run are fairly straightforward, but template what it does, it's going to look inside of a views directory in your project directory. So I have this uh, directory here for my project templates. And I have this views folder. And inside is index.tpl. So it's going to look for this index file. And when it finds it, it will render it. So as an example, I'll put a header in here, hello world. And I already have the server running so I'll refresh and I see hello world if I change this to refreshed and save it if I refresh it tells me something different so when I say that it's a very basic template engine I mean that you can just write straight Python in it so an example would be let's say I wanted an if statement uh, to do single line statements or single line Python statements you start with a percent and then you write your statement so let's say if true I'm going to show refresh and I'm going to use the Python convention of using tabs else and I'll say else block and up here I'll say if block just to make it more clear and then I'll just end this down here if I save that and refresh it uh, let's see if true oh it should be uppercase yeah. all right I'll refresh that so it's saying the if block and then if I change this to false it should go into the else block so that's fairly simple and if I wanted to do something like loop, I would do the same thing. So let me create another one now here. So four, one in, no, four I in range 10. I'm going to write this is loop index and then to access expressions you use the double curly brackets so one two and inside you can put anything that will evaluate to a string or could be converted into a string in this case I'll put I which is going to be a number but uh, the number can be converted to a string and then I'll just close out this paragraph and I'll say in four or just end so let me refresh and now I see this is loop index zero one two three all the way up to nine because I'm just looping through so this is just straight Python code I need the end to kind of help the template engine along to know where this for loop stops but basically it's it, it's just like Python so I'll show you one more thing and that's passing variables to the template um, this can get as simple as a, or as complex as you want I'll just put a name template and I'll pass my name which is Anthony and I'll put down here hello and then name because the name is passed to the template I'll be able to see it so I'll save that and refresh the page and now we see hello Anthony down at the bottom there and if I change this to something else so if I say Brian and save I wait for the server to restart and then now refresh and we see it's Brian now so the template system is very basic but of course there are more advanced things you can do but I'll leave uh, these things for this video and then in a future video I'll cover some more advanced things you can do but like I said it's just Python code basically so you can probably figure out a lot of the use cases but 
I'll make a video just in case um, you want to see some other examples. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please subscribe if you haven't already. So thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you next time.